To perform stoichiometry, we use the mole method, which states that the stoichiometric coefficients in a chemical equation can be interpreted as the number of moles of each substance. So it's completely valid to read this chemical equation as one mole of N2 reacts with three moles of H2 to produce two moles of NH3. This also leads to the concept of stoichiometric equivalency, which for this chemical equation says that one mole of N2 is equivalent to two moles of NH3, three moles of H2 is equivalent to two moles of NH3, and one mole of N2 is equivalent to three moles of H2. So we can use these equivalencies as conversion factors, similar to how we say that one foot is equal to 12 inches. So if we have 10 feet, we have 120 inches. For every one mole of N2 consumed, two moles of NH3 are produced. For every three moles of H2 consumed, two moles of NH3 are produced. And for every one mole of N2 consumed, three moles of H2 are consumed. And because with molar mass, we can easily convert between moles and grams, then we can determine quantities in whatever unit we need.